Riz. Recently popularized by streamers like Kaisenat, Duke Dennis. According to Urban Dictionary, Riz is spitting game. How good are you with pulling and sustaining the female? Thank you for that. Bro, got no Riz. Example. Damn, girl, you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Mm. Yeah? Uh, damn. That has no Riz. Some of the words that came long before Riz would be words like game. That being said, Riz had its peak moment of usage online in December 2023 and has kind of been fading ever since. But to be honest, I don't think that word's going anywhere anytime soon. I pause. Not literally. But if you're doing some <laughs> you should probably pause. <laughs> According to Urban Dictionary, pause is a powerful and ancient word that is used to stop sus vibes from people that are around you. Anybody, really. Here's another example. Bro, if I'm gonna eat a hot dog, it has to be long and warm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Brother, what are you talking about? No, pause. What? You know what I mean? I have no idea what you mean. Pause, what are you talking about? Before you integrate this word into your everyday vocab, just know that the older generation does not use the word in this manner. A lot of them would just question your usage of it. At that point, need you to explain. It just ruins the joke. Basically, anything and everything that we do in life requires us to lock in. Got a test at school soon? You better lock in. You got your first DUI? Buddy, you best be locking in. Find out you got a flesh-eating disease that's gonna eat you from the inside out, take away a few limbs, and maybe kill you? What else can you possibly do but lock in? I don't know. Maybe you got some high blood pressure and the doctor said, you gotta start eating better, working out, being more healthy overall. Doc basically said you gotta lock in without saying it. If you're working, you're locked in. If you're eating healthy, you're locked in. So locking in can show itself in many different ways in our life. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys are locking in in your life because I really wanna know. That being said, lock in has birthed a few different variations. Locked in and locked are slightly different ways to communicate that one is heavily focused on a task at hand. Now hopefully you get the point that I'm trying to make and that is that if you don't lock in in life, you're probably cooked, which is our next word. What does it mean? Cooked is a way describing any scenario for a person or object in an extremely negative way. And that's according to Urban Dictionary. Example. Yeah, bro was guarding him. Literally, he had the ball one second, ran up to him. You blinked and it was, it was crazy, bro. He was absolutely cooked in like three seconds. I don't know what to tell you. The word cooked has obviously been around for a while, but it very recently started being used in this manner. But this new fun way of using the word in different scenarios has given the youthful generation a reason to use it much more frequently than they would otherwise. They have moved on from words in the past like screwed or something more vulgar like Similarly, the phrase someone cooked here became popular on TikTok as girls basically insinuated that their partner's previous girlfriends cooked here, teaching the guy some type of grooming trick or fashion tip. Cooked has not only had some staying power in the culture, but it's also been able to generate different variations of itself, kind of like lock in. Let him cook was popularized this year as well, arguably one of the most popular variations of the phrase itself. This term means to let someone cook or continue to speak greatly, let them go ham, let them put in that work, let them get some facts. Don't interrupt them. If they're doing good at something, let them cook. No more cooking though. It's time to start mewing. Urban Dictionary says that mewing is a technique attributed to a British orthodontist named Mike Mew that involves putting pressure on the roof of your mouth with your tongue and trying to change the shape of your face by moving your maxilla up and forward. Long story short, it's a tongue exercise with your mouth that is supposed to give you a sharper jawline. Example. Yo. Nico's jawline is like really sharp now. Yeah, he's been mewing for I think six months now. Uh, two six hour sessions a day. Six hours a day, twice a 12, 12 hours a day. What is he doing? I said he's mewing. Bro, stop saying like it's normal, bro. Explain what it is. Stop saying like it's a everyday thing people do like it's normal. Like it's used in everyday conversations, bro. It's not. What? What is it? What? Mewing got really hot around March of 2024, but I myself was first introduced to mewing way back when SpongeBob slammed Squidward's face with the door. This is at least what the internet has figured out to be one of the earliest examples. And if you weren't aware, mewing is a form of looks maxing. I know, I know. What the f is that? Just wait. It's a verb. It basically refers to the physical improvement of a person's body, basically locking in. Chat, you ready? Chat, hey chat, what's going on chat? You guys ready for the next most popular word of 2024? Who do I sound like? Listen, I'm not a parent, nor am I involved in the school system, but I promise you there's kids in class right now saying things like, Chat, you guys like my outfit today? Chat, you guys forgot the answer to number six on the homework? Or, you know, Chat, what's your lunch today? Chat, you guys know that? I farted. 
Twitch and YouTube streamers refer to the active audience members in their stream as chat. The usage of this word was popularized by a very popular creator, I Show Speed. But YouTube and Instagram comments, that's not chat. Don't get it confused. Those are bots. And you've got to know the difference. And that brings me to our next word. Yeah. However you want to say it. It is a expression more so than anything. Usually when a woman has desirable assets is when you use the word okay yeah had a few peaks back through october and december of 2023 i feel like this word got popular off a few tiktoks maybe off a few basically viral clips on the internet so if you guys know let me know in the comments down below skibbity boop bop bing bong bang give it skibbity skibbity toilet bang boop that's basically what this next trend is it's a series of animated videos created by the youtuber the fuck boom the audience, I guess, consists of three-year-olds. Keep it a boop bop, sting bong bang. Full 180 from the kids' corner of YouTube. You'll find yourself in the corner of edging. And edging in the corner. What? Edging has been a practice for a while now. It's the act of coming close to a sexual climax, but halting it right before you do, and then releasing it to experience a more pleasurable release. Didn't need Urban Dictionary for that one. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> At the end of the day, as long as you still feel like him after you're done edging, then what are you worried about? Oh, you don't know what you don't know what it means to be him? Oh, well, I'll explain to you, but nobody who's ever asked me that has ever gone on to be him. According to Urban Dictionary, to be him is to be aka God, that motherfucker with the biggest set of nuts in town. Basically, every man aspires to be him, and every woman can aspire to be her. Not much more to say about it. If you're him, you're him. If you're not, you're not. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, I think I ate with that one. Basically, if somebody ate, like I did with this whole video, they just ate some food probably, or it means that they performed the task extremely well. And it's usually used by females more so than men. You know, an example might be, dude, I can't believe that this man, how much did he make that morning? Like 700 bucks off of one trade? Holy shit, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro, good for him. Period. Hey. You know you get what I'm trying to say? I think this video ate. Join my Discord down below and subscribe if you guys want more videos about internet culture. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.